Hi, I'm Gracie. Please come sing and dance with me. Baby rub the boat, baby rub the boat, hey. Baby rub the boat, baby rub the boat, hey. Come on, seven. Get it, Gracie. Yeah. Joining us in the studio this morning is Gracie herself, along with her parents, Javaris and Arlene Hollingsworth. Good morning. Good morning as well. Oh, when you watch that, how does that make you feel? Um, well, that makes me feel very appreciated for all the people that have been giving us the followers and all the likes yeah. and all the support. Because that, that, when you get all those likes and those followers and you realize what you're doing is a good thing, right? Yeah. What's the message behind a lot of your videos? Um, confidence and reputation. Yeah, and a little education in there as well, yes. which is no surprise. You two are come from an education background. In fact, you, you taught in Beijing at one point? Yes, um, I was there as a, uh, as a postdoctoral researcher. Uh, and my wife, she was there as a visiting professor. Yes. yes. When I watched these videos, I, I was like, I got myself all caught up in it. I was enjoying it. Even though I know the information, I was like, I love this. I was a kid of the generation where we used to wait a whole long week because there were no streaming services. There, there used to be a time, Gracie, where you couldn't just push a button and get what you wanted. Yeah, right? <laughs> so uh, we used to look forward to the Saturday morning cartoons, and that's what this reminds me of, is as exciting uh, cartoons. Take us back to how this all got started. What were you noticing as a mom that wasn't out there? So three kids, and during a pandemic, having to stay home work, kids were, of course, sometimes, unfortunately, entertained by what was on TV, yeah. and we noticed, Great Day Houston was good, but then there's some other yes. things out there you gotta stay away from, yes. But then we noticed, <laughs> unfortunately, a lack of diversity in some of the stuff. Um, some of our younger, we have two smaller kiddos, mm -hmm. some of the stuff they were watching, and so that's when dad stepped in and said, hey, maybe we can do something about this. Yeah, because so many of us will complain about something, but to actually say, okay, wait a minute, maybe that's our message to do something about this. And so many people have in their head, I'd like to start, I'd like to do, this is very sophisticated looking, what y'all did, but give people some tips on, on if you're going to do a YouTube channel and start this, what are some of the things that you should do before you kind of come out the gate? Um, the first thing I would suggest is just uh, figuring out exactly who's your target audience mm -hmm. and what things that they like, and then just try to create content that really caters to them. Um, in our case, uh, we were focusing on education, uh, at the same time in increasing diversity, um, because most children uh, uh, cartoons, we have about 5.6% that are children of color, so this was something that really was needed, so that was our main focus. Yeah. What's it like to see yourself in your videos, Gracie? Very surprising and exciting. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think that looks like you? Does she act like you too? Is that really Gracie? We actually sent a picture. Let's teach um, my baby sister yeah. to uh -huh. You sent the picture in? Yeah, yeah. what we wanted it to look like. Which, here, here goes to the next point, to make it look this professional. I mean, there's, there's a whole layer of stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, obviously, you had to have people come up with the, the characters themselves, the voicing of it, uh, the whole video. You had to, to basically educate yourself on video, right? Yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, and that was uh, quite the learning curve for me, uh, being that my background is truly chemistry. But um, just writing the script and putting our ideas out there and working with an animator to bring that to life. Mm -hmm. So that's been our main thing. And you know music is in your background. Yes. Yeah. I grew up playing the drums and piano in church. So the pandemic gave me that opportunity to kind of return back to that and then also do that with my daughter. Yeah, all right. So she wasn't meant to be the voice at first. How did that end up happening? So early on, um, he was like, oh, I don't necessarily want her to kind of be in the limelight. And I was like, she loves singing. Why don't you let her sing? And he was worried about her discipline, which any parent may be like, is she gonna be able to do it? Because it's hard work. Yeah. Um, and but you all are not strangers to hard work. I mean, you have a PhD, come on now. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, for uh, at the time she was seven, and I told my husband, I said, you know what, she can do this. I know she can, and he, he said, okay, we'll give her a shot, and the rest is history. Yeah. So it's been two years almost, and she loves singing. She yep, does. Mostly my mom, she was like, hey, do you want to start a YouTube channel? And then she was like, 
yeah, you can do it, and that you have confidence. Yeah, and you're in that perfect age group where you're like, why not, because I can do anything, can't you? Mm -hmm. What would you like to do if you look into a crystal ball when you grow up? Hmm. I'd see myself in there saying, hello, I'm Gracie. Come join me with my friends and everything. Because you still would like to stay in, stay in like in an area where you're able to uh, impress other people yep, or, or to give like, them good information. Yep, mostly like being on a stage and then like producing them and telling them about like and then sharing our songs. Yeah, so you uh, maybe a singer. Yeah. yeah, she has definitely some um, aspirations to sing, right? Well, the great thing is, at nine years old, you don't have to have it all figured out right now, but you certainly have a great start. Gracie, thank you very much for sharing all the great things that you do in your videos, because you encourage kids to be confident, you know, to explore their things that they're interested in, you educate them, and then you also teach them to appreciate the community they're in. But most of all, if there's something that's wrong, see how you can make it right. Thank you very much, and give me that outfit. Okay, <laughs> you can watch Gracie's Corner on YouTube. For more information, visit greatdayhouston.com.